You're listening to Six Music. It's Tom Robinson sitting in for Lamo, and this weekend sees one of the major dates in the UK folk music calendar. Fairport's Crop Ready Convention in Oxfordshire, masterminded, obviously, by the band Fairport Convention. In 1968, shortly after forming, they recruited a new vocalist called Sandy Denny. And her astonishing voice, her roots in English folk music and her exceptional songwriting skills helped set the band on the unique path that they continue to tread 55 years later. Tragically, Sandy herself died in 1978 at the young age of 31. And my guest today is her daughter, Georgia Rose Lucas. So first, let's hear her mum with Fairport Convention on her all-time classic, Who Knows Where the Time Goes. Across the evening sky All the birds are leaving But how can they know It's time for them to go Your fickle friends are leaving Ah, but then you know It's time for them to go
from Fairport Convention's 1969 album Unhalf Bricking. That's who knows where the time goes. Written and sung by the late Sandy Denny. But today, Sandy's daughter, Georgia Lucas, has masterminded a new album and exhibition called Project Songbird to shine a new light on her mother's musical legacy. And she joins me in the studio. Georgia, welcome. Hi. Lovely to see you. You too. What an amazing thing to be involved in. It's pretty special. As you were growing up, were you aware that you had a famous mother or was that only a gradual realisation later on? I was aware of it, but I didn't know the magnitude of the whole whole thing. And as I got older, I definitely looked into it more. I got cancer and um, oh, really? that's when I had my wake-up call and I wanted to know everything about her. And so... What did you then acquire in the way of a, a kind of legacy? Is there a big archive of stuff that came to you? Not straight away. I had a book by Mick Houghton. I always kept a unicorn on my shelf staring at me for years. Three years, I think it was. And I'd look at it and I couldn't open it. How can we? Yeah. And I decided that I'd open it and have a read. And I cried for four months. <laughs> and was okay I just had to get that out and I listened listened to her music and now I'm really proud and I'm okay with it I think I got it all out of my system or the past yeah so you've kind of taken own ownership of your past yeah yeah I'm not poor me anymore I'm I'm very proud to be Sandy's daughter and and my dad of course as well like amazing legacy that I've got and so you're a kind of custodian of her legacy, really, now, aren't you? Yeah, I've, I'm working with my stepmother, Elizabeth Hurt, very closely in, within the estate, and we're doing some amazing stuff together, um, Project Song, Songbird and the exhibition. So now, tell yeah. us about this thing. So, so Project Songbird is not only an exhibition, but it's a whole album of your mother's lyrics. Yeah, um, I've got the diaries out of the archives and sent to Sydney uh, late last year, December, I think it was. So over that, the the next last six months, I've been working on this project with Carla Fuchs, who is a... um, Now, how did you discover Carla Fuchs? German songwriter, right? (laughs) In late 2020, 21, early 21, she had posted a song video on YouTube and it was one of my mum's songs it was absolutely beautiful and I saw it and went who is this woman yeah she just played the piano like an angel and I don't get goosebumps from people playing my mum's stuff that often apart from my mum and she did that so I had to listen to more and she posted another one and I wrote a comment underneath and then she got in touch with me and then we started talking and the more I listened to her, the more I wanted to do something with her. And I didn't ask her at first what she wanted. I just had it in my head and it kept on, you know, growing and growing. And I spoke to my stepmother about it, Elizabeth, and said, look, this German girl is just incredible. I'd really like to do some work with her. Mm. And I'm thinking maybe the lost lyrics that we're calling them would be, it would fit. And she listened and we both agreed that this was a very positive thing and I approached Carla to do it and she nearly fell off a chair. <laughs> and I she did. She goes, are you, are you serious? You want me to do this? And I said, yes, I do. Um, she'd she'd uh, already done Sixpence, um, which was also on the Thea Gilmore song. I can't remember what track it was. I think it was just a track 14 or a track mm. set. I can't remember. But she'd done a version of it and Carla had already done this previous to our meet at all. I didn't know that she'd already done this. And then she played it to me and I was like, oh, my goodness, this is incredible. That's when the idea actually was solid in my mind. And then you actually saw it all the way through to a complete album of of songs with your mum's lyrics, brand new music, sung beautifully by this German artist... But without talking about it anymore, let's hear a track from that album, because it is extraordinary. This is Winter Elms. Once there was a few You 
could see for miles and find nothing which did not please the eye. When there was no mist, blanket in the ground. A painter, so I could try to put it down. Skeletons of proud black arms against the blood red winter sky. Crows idling above them like chalk paper over a bonfire. It's the time. That's Carla Fuchs with Winter Elms, her setting of a previously unreleased lyric by the late Sandy Denny from the album Project Songbird, released tomorrow on Talking Elephant Records, which has been nurtured and overseen by Sandy's daughter, Georgia Rose Lucas. And you've done the artwork for it. Yes, I did, because I had all the diaries. I was go- I've been going through them with Carla at a level like we've been sharing, basically living on each other's screens for the last six months, uh, going through these books, seeing what sort of style she was writing and seeing what mood she was in. And and there was all sorts of little pictures and, and, and sketches and doodles in them. And I've taken all of those doodles and created the 28 page booklet for the album, which is all her writings of the, the original song lyrics on one side and her doodles, it's just turned out so beautifully and I'm, it's my best work that I've ever done and I never thought that this would go... I didn't, didn't th- ever think I'd be sitting in here with you having this conversation about it, that's for sure. Tell us about the exhibition, which is also taking place in the Cropredy Fringe Festival in Oxfordshire this week. Yeah, it's at the Brazenose. So tomorrow night people can hear the whole album performed yes, live. Yes, yes. And she will be playing my mum's Gibson as well. So that will be on stage playing a couple of very special songs um, that my mum played on those guitar- on that guitar. It's a mm. wonderful full mm. circle here coming. Yeah. Best of all, yeah. out of this whole project, there's a lyric that's actually about you. Oh, yeah. It makes me cry nearly every time I hear it. I'm going to have to hold back tears if you do play it. <laughs> well, George and Lucas, thank you so much for coming in. It's a wonderful project. I hope it does so well for you. Thank you so much. Cheers. And here is Georgia. Georgia, though you sleep so soundly now When autumn leaves are fallen to the ground You reach to catch them with your tiny Smile, my.
my beautiful, most precious child. I long to see you wake and smile, my beautiful, most precious child. That's Georgia, with lyrics written by the late Sandy Denny for her infant daughter. Set to music and performed by the German singer, songwriter, clarinetist and classical polymath Carla Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S, on her album Songbird. To mark its release tomorrow, Carla will be performing the record in full at the Brazenose Arms as part of the Crop Ready Fringe Festival in Oxfordshire on Sandy Denny's own Gibson guitar. And Georgia's Project Songbird exhibition celebrating her mother continues there every afternoon this week until Sunday. Ian driving home says Sandy Denny singing Who Knows Where the Time Goes is the most moving vocal performance ever. Thank you. Text music.